please subscribe mad.com and don't forget to hit the bell icon for new video notification hello everyone today we are going to discuss the application of the integration that we have also seen in our uh, lecture of introduction to integration you can refer to that lecture in order to get the deep idea about it but we today we will use an example that how you can use integration in order to find the area under the curve or sometimes you can also say the area bounded by the curve and the x axis so if uh, as this diagram i have already ma made in this diagram we have a curve that is y is equals to f of x and we have to find the a that area that is uh, uh, that is between the curve and the x axis and the two points of the x axis are given that is a and b so uh, rather than finding uh, this area by use by taking the small rectangles and then finding the area of those rectangles and combining them together uh, it is more easier or it is more accurate to use the integration or the definite integration to find this area this is actually the application of the integration uh, that is what the integration is commonly used for so you can also refer to the um, lecture of intro to integration you will better get its idea but today we will see how you can find the area bounded by the curve and the x axis with the help of the example so before using the example i'll share the formula that is that will be used to find the area here as so the formula dip all uh, depends on the position of the curve where it is located if the uh, curve is located above the x axis as it is shown in the the graph uh, as well uh, here the uh, curve is above the x axis then you have to use the formula number 1 that is area is equals to integration of a to b f of x dx where a and b are the limits or the values of the x on the x axis or the uh, you can say uh, these are the boundaries between which the area is to be found then we have mm, uh, if you have the uh, curve below the x axis in that case you have the uh, the y axis is negative so in that case you have you will get the negative sign so in order to avoid the negative sign we will take the mod of the Uh, of the answer so that you may not get negative sign in it and you will get the area in a positive uh, you, and you will get the uh, the positive value of the area so you, then you will use the uh, this uh, formula for um, formula for finding the area and if some part of the curve is above the x axis and some part is below the x axis then you have to uh, divide the curve into two parts Uh, one part will be above the x axis and the other part will be below the x axis and you will take the different limits so you can say uh, from these one is above just for say example and uh, and the other is below the x axis so it means you have uh, divided the curve into two parts and when you divide the curve into two parts the limits will also be divided into two parts so keep this in mind that you have to uh, uh, keep check of the limits as well so Uh, you have to keep che uh, check of the limits as well as if we divide the curve into two parts then the limits will also be divided so accordingly you have to deal with so we will take an example in which the uh, uh, the curve will be both above the x axis as well as below the x axis and you will see how we can uh, find the area by using the definite integral uh, definite integral is the integral in which you are given with the limits same is the case here and you will get a single value at the end that is that will be the area of the curve bounded by the x axis so let's start with the example we have an example that is so this is an example in which we have to find the area bounded by the curve y is equals to x into x square minus 1 uh, minus 4 and x axis now uh, one point that you have to keep in mind that if you are not given with the limits or the values of the x uh, between which the area is to be found then you have to found the uh, 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 the points where the curve cuts the x axis so we can find uh, we can find it by putting the uh, y is equals to 0 as on x axis the y is 0 put y equals to 0 in the uh, equation of the given curve so what we will get is 0 is equals to x into x square minus 4 so from this equation one point will be 0 x is equals to 0 and the other point will be x square minus 4 x square minus 4 equals to 0 so we will get the points x equals to 0 and x is equals to plus minus 2 so these are the points where the curve cuts the x axis so we have got these values and we have to find the area between these two points and the curve 
so we can apply the formula here because uh, which formula in which we have some part above the x axis and the some part below the x axis so what points we have got from here let's write them here one point is minus 2 and 0 other point is 0 and 0 and the other point is 2 and 0 so these are the three points where the curve will cut the x axis so it means that this portion so these are the values that are uh, basically uh, where the curve cuts the x axis and these are the values in between in which the we have to find the area now how we will come to know that which part is above the x axis and which part is below the x axis we can find it by drawing the uh, the given curve uh, on the graph and uh, we will see that how it will uh, look alike so from the values of x that we have found by putting the value of y as 0 we uh, we have drawn a table where we have written the uh, values of x and the corresponding values of y by putting the values of x in the given equation of which uh, 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 of the equation of the curve that is given so this is the table and by using this table we will draw the graph of this curve that is given in the uh, example so so let's draw the uh, these points of x and y so that we can draw the curve as well so on x minus 2 we have uh, y as 0 so minus on minus 2 we have y equals to 0 so so one point will be at this point minus 2 0 then we have minus 1 and 3 it means x will be minus 1 and y will be 3 so it will be a point here then we have 0 0 that will be at the origin then 1 and minus 3 here that will be the point then we have 2 and 0 that is on the x axis so let's join these points and what we will get is the graph of the curve will be like this so it is shown here or it is clear here that half curve is above the x axis and half curve is below the x axis so let's shade the uh, curve that is above the x axis as green and the curve that is below the x axis as purple so by drawing this graph it is clear that from 0 from the uh, that the limit of x that is 0 to minus 2 we have the curve above the x axis and the limit from 0 to 2 we have the curve below the x axis so accordingly we have to deal with so let's see how you will deal with such case and we have to use this formula in which we, we have some part above the axis and some part below the x axis so formula will be like area is equals to integration of first limit will be from here to here that is minus 2 to 0 this will be the first limit so minus 2 will be here and 0 will be here and we will write the function that is f of x is x into x square minus 4 or if i multiply it i'll get x cube minus 4x dx plus and when we came across a function that is below the x axis uh, we will get the value as uh, integration of 0 to 2 into x cube minus 4x so this will be the area and we will solve it to get the area bounded by the given curve and the x axis so let's solve it as so let's solve them you can also solve them separately uh, for your ease but we will solve it all together as x area is equals to we will integrate it as uh, the integration of x cube is x 4 divided by 4 and we have to apply the limit from minus 2 to 0 minus 4 into the integration of x is x square divided by 2 and we have to apply the limit from minus 2 to 0 same is the case for the limit 0 to 2 the integration of x cube is x 4 divided by 4 and we have to apply the limit from 0 to 2 and minus 4 into x square divided by 2 apply the limit from 0 to 2 so let's solve them as area area is equals to we have to solve it as by uh, upper limit minus lower limit so it will be like upper limit minus lower limit upper, upper limit is 0 so 0 divided by 4 minus minus 2 power 4 divided by 4 then we have minus so it will be cancel out minus 2 into x square upper limit is 0 minus lower limit is minus 2 square you have to subtract the limit from the upper limit from the lower limit plus upper limit here is 2 so 2 power 4 divided by 4 minus lower limit is 0 so 0 then we have minus will be cancelled out like this 
minus 2 into upper limit is 2 so 2 square and the lower limit is 0 minus 0 so it will be the one so area will be equals to z uh, it will be 2 to uh, 2 raised to power 4 is 16 uh, 16 and 4 4 are 16 so it will be as minus 4 minus into minus 8 so this is the area of the region uh, from 0 to minus 2 uh, from minus 2 to 0 then we have plus 4 minus 8 this is the area from 0 to 2 then we will get is area is equals to minus 4 plus 8 is 4 plus 4 minus 8 is minus 4 now whenever we came across the area in the negative form we have to take the mod of that area because area can, ne ne can never be negative so what we will get is 4 plus 4 equals to 8 so this is the required area of the re region that we have shaded in the start uh, from the, uh, including the uh, including the area bounded um, by the curve and the x axis from minus 2 to 0 and 0 to 2 so this is how you can find the area bounded by the curve and the x axis so that's all from today's lecture thank you